previously in Cyberpunk 2077. All right, all right. It's like, you know how it is when, when you want to get a girl at a club, right? But you just need a little, an, a nudge in the right direction. No, I don't think I want to let you go. V, my apologies if the receptionist was a bother. I'm preoccupied with the crisis that is ongoing, and I simply cannot oversee everything. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account to compensate for the damage done. Oh. No. Skip it. I have a talking gun. Skip it. Seriously. You say, Zar, I'm here for my fight. Yeah, that's me. Toughest hijo de puta in the Glen. Mm-hmm. And the worst father in Night City. If the other vehicles are going to give me this much headache... I might need something with a little bit more armor plating. And now to continue. Alright, so... Two Dell Taxis down. Five to go. But right now... I want to go fight. Because I've got a nearby boxing match, and I have been putting off these fights for far too long already. And then hopefully afterwards, maybe I'll get enough money put together that I can actually buy a new vehicle. And this time, maybe not talk myself out of, out of buying it. Because I seem to do that a lot. Every time I go to buy a new car, I find some reason why I shouldn't. I mean, it's mostly because I really want more cyberware upgrades. But I seem to be doing okay with that for now. What I really need is a car that can take more of a beating. This thing is supposed to be stylish and sound cool and make it make me feel like a badass or some hot shit going down the road. It's not meant to take the kind of punishment that I keep giving it. Wait. I gotta sit and wait for the next fight? Alright. Skippy? Let's have a chat. While I wait. Whoa. What was that now? I mean, thanks for waking me up, but... I don't know what you said. Alright. Oh, there's a lot of heat in here for a boxing match. Is this gonna... Lizzie? V, need your help. Uh... Same spot as last time. Don't make me wait. I'm kind of busy. What is it? Hello? Lizzie? Shit. Okay. Well, it's gonna have to wait at least a little bit, because I'm kind of... ...engaged in... ...something else. Why is this taking place in a mall? Not just any mall. Is this the same mall? Am I literally in the same exact mall that I came into before for the uh the voodoos that would be weird it very much looks like the same mall again why is there so much heat for a boxing match hey how you doing hail cesar shouldn't you be putting up a cradle or something two days tomorrow i got time no, you don't. Not if it's tomorrow. Tomorrow means it could happen literally any time. 
The old rhino. See so you're keeping busy? Next time I'm wiping the floor with you, you'll see. I look forward to it. It'll be a good fight. Where? Aha. Hey. Great to see you, v. It's weird not seeing you in my mega complex. What's up? So, what now? What now, she said. <laughs> the title match. You go up against Razor Hughes. Heard of him, haven't you? No. No, I haven't. Nope. He got a shaving cream sponsor? Very fucking funny. He's a three-time heavyweight champion. Never Big thought accolades. Him here because, you know, he's a star athlete with elite corporal sponsors. But then his agent tells us it's a good PR move for him. Razor returning to his roots and all that. Prove he's still a kid from the streets. Do I even have a shot? <laughs> a good question. You good, V? Very good. But this guy... He's a machine. Carbon fiber, titanium bones, hydraulic joints. All optimized by Night City's best bioengineers. I've got some good know. chrome of my own. Maybe Victor will have some tips with tricks. Vic's here? What? You think he'd miss an occasion like this? But listen, I'll be honest. Don't look too good for you. But maybe that's better, you know? If Razor's winning anyway, Maybe you're looking to earn a little something on it. Wait, are you wanting me to throw the fight? No, no, no. I'm not throwing the fight. I'll pass. Hey, hey. You don't even know what it is yet. I can guess. So again, I'll pass. I fight to win. Period. Okay, Jesus, be that way. I'm not going to intentionally throw the fight, man. So, are you two ready to fight? Only one round. What? One round. All it's gonna take for you to kiss my feet. Beg for mercy. Right, uh -huh. Shall we? No, 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 no. I want to go finish talking to people. You said Vic is here. I want to go see him. There he is. I also want to talk to the twins, because I'm betting they're here, too. Hey, Vic. Hey. What are you doing here? What do you mean? I came to see the fight of the year. Everybody on the street's buzzing about it. Really? Don't let me down now, you hear? How is everybody buzzing about a fight? Like, I just barely finished the qualifying round, like, an hour ago. Not even an hour ago. Here's the twins. Well, if it isn't my favorite twins in Night City. Sup, fellas? I'm not, I'm not twins. twins. It's, it's just, just me. me. No. Anyway, I'm fine. Thank you. You can deny it all you want. You're twins. You were born twins. You are. No. Oh, never mind. Talking to them is. Just fruitless. There was one other guy that I beat in the fight, but I know for a fact he won't be here because after the fight, well, things ended violently. And then I got a nice new sniper rifle. So, alright. I'm ready. Let's do this. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, night citizens. It's time for our heavyweight bout. Facing each other tonight, we have Razor Hughes and Left Heron. On to your corner. Um, why is everybody walking through the ring? Hey, people, don't you know you're supposed to go around? Oh, good. At least there is stairs to get in here. This is gonna be a hell of a bout. He's a big guy, but. V, hey, how are your spirits before the fight? Oh, I'm doing fine. Good, but my knuckles are itching. 
<laughs> you won't get far in this sport without confidence. But you know, positive thinking's only gonna get you so far against an opponent like Razor. How do you mean? The guy's a tank. Seriously, nanofiber real skin, shock absorbers. You could knock him on the head with a meat mallet, and he wouldn't even flinch. I guess Appreciate I need a meat mallet. Hold on now, I'm not done. He's got a weakness. Had some abdominal muscles swapped out a week ago, and they haven't taken to him fully just yet. <laughs> you hit him there, it's gonna hurt a lot. Got it. Thanks. Aim for the gut. Keep it in mind. You two ready? At the gong. Uh -huh. Let's get it. Can I stand up now, please? Let's start this thing. Not exactly in fighting attire, but hey. And this is exactly how I knew I was going to win, no matter what. Guy may be a tank, but I've got a sand devastate. This fight's already almost over. And there we go! See, Fred? Victory and the prize belong to V, your champion. You think this is how it ends? Did, did I just let you out my grip? You'd be Give wise. it up, man. Don't think you could take another beating. This just ain't no between us. We meet again. Tomorrow, next year. This definitely ain't the last. See you around then. I look I forward to it, big man. In the meantime. A loss. That's what I'm telling you. Oh. I think I accidentally turned on my flashlight. So fucking me. Had a good coach in my corner. All of them? You fucking shitting me. <laughs> I think he just lost his corporate sponsors, but ooh, look at that sexy payout. 50,000 eddies. This would happen. Only the best could be me. This, Cesar, is why I didn't take your money. Or your car. Because I didn't need it. You do. So, you go back now to your wife, and you treat her real good, and you take care of that new coming baby, man. Well, Fred? What, no parting words of victory? Come on, I won. Fine. Fight's over and now suddenly everybody just immediately loses interest. Good grief. Ah, now that is boxing. Thank you, Rhinos. At least somebody is willing to say something. Yo, Rhino. See you're keeping busy? Next time I'm wiping the floor with you. I think you've already said that. Alright. Good chat. Don't suppose I can actually go and talk to Razor. I mean, I just pummeled him, but... Hey, dude. You okay? Who's this other guy in this photo? I actually can't read that. The, uh... The font is just... It's bad. The font is just bad. I can't believe I can't read that poster. Oh well. Alright, I think it's time to leave. But I won. I'm the champion. And I got 50,000 eddies for it. That actually feels really good. Okay. Now we've still got a bunch of other... There's another Delamain right there. Okay. Oh, hey. I saw that. I have some new perks. Okay, so what am I going to put them in? Um, what am I focusing on? Intelligence is pretty much done. I think. Ram recovery. See, I'm not really, like... I love net running. But I don't want to just specialize in net running. At least not now. 
This is more of a, a means to allow me to do more fun things as a stealth sniper. What is this? Level 2, quick hack damage against enemies affected by covert and control quick hacks. Do I use a lot of those? Uh, let's see. Minus one ram cost to quick hack devices and vehicles. Okay. Plus one Q size. Okay. Fine. He twisted my arm. Q mastery. Now, I think I want to put the attribute point into cool. So that I can perform better with my stealth. Not that anything I have done at all lately has been even the slightest bit stealthy. I still want to try. Right then. Enough wasting time. It is night. It is the dead of night. And I just got that call from Lizzie. I almost want to go do that, but I'm pretty sure that's relatively far away. Well, let's be honest here. I'm relatively far away from just about anything. But Lizzie... I met her in a hotel room way up, the up, way up there. So... Like, that's taking me all the way back to Watson, and I'm way down in Dogtown. So, unless I'm going to take a fast transit... It's just not... I don't want to drive all that way. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't want to drive all that way. I'm trying to make big words sound more important than they actually are. No, let's... See if I can. Let's get out of Dogtown to start. Plenty of bad memories in this place. Dell still hasn't picked up his car. I wonder what's going on up there. It just looks like an awfully big gathering. None of my business. That's what it is. It's none of my business. Let's just go. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna get going. Move on. You know, I could really use some sleep. I have been going and going for quite a long time now. Maybe it would be advantageous to find a place to take a nap. If that's the case, well, it, don't I have a place? Well, I didn't have a place in Dogtown, for sure. That's not happening. But isn't there an apartment somewhere here in... There it is. Oh, God, that's even further away than my gig. And it wants 110,000. Oh my god. That is just outrageously expensive. Okay. Wait. Oh, there's one closer to me. 80,000. That's everything I have. Uh, if I'm going to spend that kind of money, do I really want to spend it on an apartment? I mean, yes, but not when it's every penny I own. Alright, I guess I'll just stay the course and we'll deal with this Delamain car. 
hopefully it won't give me too much trouble. All of this for a crash that happened ages ago. Oh god. Another one of these? You are currently at the exact location where I lost contact with the car. Am I? Fine. Have a look around. Seems like an awfully Whoa. That wasn't it, was it? Oh, I hope not. Oh god, there's another. Hey, coach. <clears throat> Uh, what a show, you're a legend, thanks V. You couldn't have said that while I was standing right in front of your face, man? You had to wait and tell me after I've already driven away. Regina? Listen V, a gunfight broke out in a cafe on the waterfront. See what's going on over there. If it's a cyber psycho problem, I want the problem to stay alive. Popular cafe with a beautiful view on the ocean. Usually crowded at this hour, it acquired cult no notoriety after Saigon Sisters was filmed there and it's Hyun. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Hyun's favorite eatery. Poor th thing in poor thing lying in a coma after allergic reaction to tannins whatever tannins are anyway cafe's booked now for some boogie reception a few of the guests already arrived and the new newlyweds were getting the stills taken that's when it all started guess someone seriously objected to the holy matrimony uh, I'm sorry what is that Uh, I, oh, oh, that's what she, the message, oh, I am right near another two, but, but, okay, okay, I'll take care of both of them. This will give me a good opportunity to play with Skippy, I think. Wait, what? Lost him. Oh! Uh, the... The Delamain car. It just drove past me. Is that it right there? No, that's not it. Okay, well, I'm going back to worry about the Cyber Psycho for now. I don't know what's going on with the car, or even where the car is. I'm wondering if maybe I should just kind of hang out and let it come to me. Let's go deal with this cyber psycho. Skippy, you're up, bud. Yeah, see? What? Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna wait on the car because it kind of looks like if I just kind of bide my time he'll come to me let's deal with this cyber psycho incident oh it's not up here is it it's down below maybe is this the wedding Is everybody okay? I'm here to help. Oh, okay. Well then, uh, I'm just gonna... Oh! Okay. Yep. Shoot the legs. Shoot out the legs. Why, why is... Ah! Flashlight. Stupid flashlight. Okay, let's do this. Triple movement, reboot optics. Take out the legs. I can take a few bullets. It's not a big deal. Uh, cyberware malfunction, weapon glitch.
Oh good, she dropped her gun. Oh, and now you have a melee weapon. Okay. Let's cripple movement again. Uh, what'd you drop? An overture. Eh. Just an average weapon. Hey, now, that's not fair. I mean, I can reach you. Still not fair. Come on. Okay. Cripple movement. Weapon glitch. There we go. The vast majority of murders are committed by men. You go, girl. Adrenaline converter. Is that cyberware? <coughs> okay. Message to Dao Hyun. All right. Dear sister, the time of revenge and the white light of frost, white, chrome, and contempt has come. Whoa, why does that sound like something medieval? When you woke in the cold fluorescent light, remember how you humiliated me at my wedding? How I became the laughing stock of Night City thanks to you and your Mr. Stud prank? I hope you'll enjoy my revenge. Mr. Stud... Is this... That guy... That we... His junk was burning. Is that the same dude? Really? I hope you'll enjoy my revenge as I've chosen the most hideous implants from Jig Jig's nastiest ripper docks to make a few adjustments to your oh so beautiful body. Oh, that's horrible. And I almost forgot to mention I'm getting married again. My future husband. Oh, okay, not the same person. Husband. So this is his, um. One sister to another sister. My future husband needs a no introduction because he's your fiance after all and you know him so well. That's right, Kenny, but don't worry about him. I doubt he'll spot the difference. He's never been too uh, observant, that one. Oh, they're twins. I really hope you enjoy the craftsmanship and effort and I poured into your new shell. It's the perfect match for the monster inside you, and I'm sorry to do this, but you're not welcome at the wedding. I'd hate to scare off all my friends and guests, or even Kenny. I'll be sure to send you some stills taken from outside your favorite restaurant so you can always know what your life might have looked like. Stay strong, sis, and stay away from mirrors. Your favorite sister, Lynn. Oh, so this was just straight up. Oh, so you're. Wow. Talk about some serious family drama. All right, I think I need to call Regina now. Maybe? I mean, she's been neutralized. She's still alive, thanks to Skippy. Skippy, you're awesome, bud. Truly awesome. Really glad to have you on the team. All right, I guess we'll just, oh. Oh, is this the boyfriend? Appearance, buff man, cheap suit. No affiliation. He's got some loot for me, though. <clears throat> oh, no. This is her sister. And that was the boyfriend. So she crashed the wedding <coughs> and went full psycho on them all at the same time. Oh. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Okay, so what exactly am I looking for then?
Maybe the camera? Did they catch the footage? What exactly am I missing to finish this gig? I mean, yeah, I can destroy the, lo the camera lights. I'm a little lost. Am I missing... Uh oh! Oh, this party went a little further than just uh, on the balcony. Okay. Search the area to collect info. I'm doing that. Saigon Sisters, the scene opens, Kenny and Lynn posing for wedding pictures by the Seaside Cafe, scene shot against the sun, blah blah blah, this is just an itinerary of, of the wedding ceremony, being shot as a movie? So what am I missing? Can I get back up there? No, not that way at least. All right, I guess I'll run the long way. Is there anything else that I... No, no, I'm not. I'm not missing anything else there. Am I missing something up here? No, I mean, I already got everything off of the girl herself. This is a tad confusing. Alright. Let's check this balcony again. Maybe... Ah. My dearest Lynn, I've heard you've been worrying about security at the wedding. Well, put it out of your mind. As one of our biggest stars, you know that your comfort and peace of mind is our top priority. I would never ever let your sister ruin your big day. I'll see to it myself. You have my word, your safety comes first, and that will never change, even if you lost your looks, your talent, never, no matter what. Besides, Dow's in a coma and will only wake up once you and Kenny are out, sipping watermelon mojitos on the beach. So chin up and don't worry, or you'll get fine lines. Remember, your skin needs time to recover after the transplant. Your Celine. Okay. Have I officially found everything now? Can I get back to my car the easy way? Okay. Let's get a hold of Regina. Got some good news. There's a happy ending to your favorite TV show after all. Our psycho star's alive and well, flicking you the deets. Glad she's alive. Maybe there's a chance she'll start telling, telling apart real life Whoa! I can't. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try that again. Uh, where did I stop? Maybe there's a chance she'll start telling apart real life from TV life so we can start helping her. I just worry. I'm just worried what'll happen when she finally realizes that massacre wasn't fake blood and artificial limbs. Get a load of this. It wasn't an actual wedding. It was supposed to be an episode of your favorite TV show, Saigon Sisters. Spoilers incoming. The plan was to pit both sisters against each other by chipping one of them with faulty implants and putting her in a coma, not from an allergic reaction, but with legit poison. In the meantime, the other sister gets plastic surgery to look like the sister in a coma and so she can marry the Ladder's fiance. How whacked is that? Yeah, I read the the lines. Except the coma sister woke up too soon, forgot she was in a TV show, and clearly didn't like her new implants. A fact she made known at the wedding reception with a performance no one would forget, at least for those that managed to escape. First she took care of her sister, then the husband, and finally the whole TV crew. That's when guts really hit the fan. I thought Maelstrom were 
messed up, but Showbiz takes the cake. Yeah, reality TV. Other shows just really don't compare. Okay then. That was an experience. Got some decent money out of it though. And another Cyber Psycho has been subdued. And thanks to Skippy, I didn't kill him. I like Skippy. Skippy is going to help me lots with that job. So now, I gotta deal with a crazy taxi. Hey! Let's talk! I'm not going back! Lost him. Okay, okay. Crazy taxi. Gotta follow the crazy taxi. I shot at the taxi. That that's not the taxi. Where'd he go? I guess I'll just kinda drive around okay. And there's another cyber psycho right here too. Which I would like to take care of that one as well, but I really want to get this taxi cab first. And here he comes. Okay, I've hurt my car enough already. Maybe I just slam into him. No? Can I hit him with some Damn it. Let's see who crushes who! Honestly, I'd rather you stop. Okay, do I have to destroy the car? I can't use any quick hacks against him. I mean, he's at least stopped moving, kind of. Let's see if I can take out the tires at least. There we go. Yeah, you're done, buddy. That's enough of a rampage. How fortunate. Dell? I've relinked to the vehicle. Thank you. A share of your fee is in your account. Awesome. A few more eddies. One more Delamain cab, and then maybe I can actually afford to buy an apartment nearby and take a nap. But before that, I guess I'm here already. I should deal with this other cyber psycho. This was not on my agenda today. Oh god, but neither was what I'm doing to my poor car. Again! I think it's time to switch vehicles and give that one a bull. A break. Oh, are you gonna sing every time? I think he is. Go ahead and just disarm all of these mines. Don't need any surprises. All right, what am I looking at? Oh. Okay. Wait, friendly mode. No, no, no. Disarm the mine. I don't need anything exploding while I'm running around trying to subdue this guy without killing him. All 
Alright, what do we got? Dead Corpo. I mean, no love lost there. Oh, what am I targeting? I'm not targeting... That was, yeah, this one here. Well, I mean, at least that took a few obstacles off the board. Now, now, cripple movement, cyberware malfunction. Ow. That was a mine. Okay. Weapon glitch. Reboot optics. And... Cripple movement. New magazine detected. Okay. Go ahead and just take a few pot shots at me. Weapon glitch. Shoot him in the legs. According to traditional Christian doctrine, you are going to burn in hell. Am I really? Come on, Skip. I'm trying to be nice to these people. Okay, stop, don't do it. Let this be a warning to anyone thinking about buying this shop. Don't be fooled by the fantastic location or top shelf equipment. Because guess what? None of it will be yours even after you sign whatever agreement the corp gives you. What? You surprised? Well, so was I. I shouldn't have been though. It was right there in front of my eyes in black and white. I didn't want to waste my time reading some complicated agreement with more twists than that Apple novel but a certain Vir by a certain Virginia. I also didn't bother doing my research or else I would have found out the shop changed hands three times already this year and the previous owners disappeared without a trace, except their debts, that is. All I can say is I've dealt with my fair share of gangs looking for protection money or a one-time heist, but nobody, and I mean nobody, has ever <clears throat> messed me over quite like the suits at Zeta Tech. So I've only got one answer for them. A wrench to the face, and a vice for their fingers. So this guy was conned by a bunch of Zeta Tech suits into buying. Well, he bought a property, but in the fine details, they basically put a disclaimer, I guess, that said, no, you don't actually own it. Instead, we're going to charge you an absurd amount of rent money. Oh. Compact Technosite with Phosphor Insert. Is that an eyepiece? It's kind of weird. Foreclosure Notice. Due to the failure to uphold the terms and agreements of blah 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 and failure to respond to letter on of demand for outstanding payment number blank in accordance with paragraph whatever of the aforementioned agreement, the real property shall become the property of Zeta Tech within two days of receipt of this document. Decision is not not subject to appeal. Right. Yeah, dude got screwed over big time. Okay. What other information can I find? You don't have anything for me. Open up. No, can't open that door. Can I go in here? Open the door. Nothing. Okay, so whatever information I can potentially find is clearly not back here. I'm pretty sure I've got all the information already. Oh. 
There's a computer terminal. Okay. And what kind of messages do we have? License, what license? I got a cease and desist from Zeta Tech. They say I'm using the, that lift in my shop without a license. What is this? I bought the whole shop. Spent my life savings on it. They want to get me again because of some license? Could you check and see if they made a mistake somewhere? And what sort of eddies are we talking about here? Uh, Gaston, I contacted Zeta Tech on your behalf and it does seem that the equipment in the shop was not included in the deed. You bought the shop building, four walls, the floor and ceiling. That's it. I asked about the price of the tech, but they're unable to give an estimate because the shop in which it's located has been bought out. But I'm the one who bought it out. Think I would know, so what do we do now? Now they have to buy it back from you, and since prices have fallen in the area, you stand to lose a fair amount. But then we have priority to buy it back, and if we want to speed up the process, we could give them an offer right now to purchase the shop and equipment along with the loan approval for whatever is needed to cover the difference. That's the good news. Bad news is the equipment costs about double the shop itself. Fine, I don't know, go ahead and file the loan application so I don't lose my chance, then I'll think it over, over some more. Besides, what's a shop without equipment? I can't even work without it. Alright Gaston, it's already... It's all ready, I just need your signature. Great, thanks for your help. That's really skeevy. And these are just... Spam mail. Okay. Regina, I got a doozy for you here. Uh, auto shop owner was on a rampage, but I managed to put him to sleep. The way corps here gobble up small businesses, it's almost painful to watch, but they even clock what's happening. The owners are locked out of their own premises and slapped with a colossal debt. Then they bust their asses for the corp from morning to midnight to make ends meet. Looks like this one preferred to take his own life than give up the one place that was his. See how quickly the American dream can turn into the American nightmare. Oh, I've seen many examples of that recently. Ah, poor guy. But that's why you should always, and I do mean always, read the fine print. Or if you can't read it yourself, don't understand it, and get yourself an, a lawyer who speaks legalese and get them to read it for you. You should never sign a contract without knowing what you're getting into. Kind of like when I step into this busted down degraded car, I'm not sure what I'm getting into. A reliable vehicle? Or a death trap waiting to happen?